an element, features, or factors that is liable to vary or change is called the variable. In research, variable simply refers to a person, place, thing, or phenomena that you are trying to measure in some way. Variables are any characteristic that can take on different values such as height, age, species, or exam scores. For this video, we will talk about the types and roles of variables. Data is a specific measurement of a variable. It is the value you record in your data sheet. Data is generally divided into two categories. Categorical variable represent groupings, while quantitative variable represent amounts. A variable that contains categorical data is a categorical variable. Categorical variable represent groupings of some kind. For example, species names, colors, brands. A variable that contains quantitative data is a quantitative variable. When you collect quantitative data, the numbers you record represent real amounts that can be added, subtracted, divided, and etc. For example, distance, volume, age, number of students. In scientific research, we often want to study the effect of one variable on another one. For example, you might want to test whether students who spend more time studying get better exam scores. The variable in a study of a cause and effect relationship are called the independent and dependent variables. A variable that is presumed to cause changes in another variable is called the independent variable. It also refers to the treatment, manipulation, or a project or a strategy that the researchers plan to measure the effect of its exposure. For example, Social class, time of the day, minimum wage. While dependent variable, the variable that changes because of one another variable. This is the effect of outcome variable. The outcome that the researcher wants to measure, for example, IQ score, alertness, employment rate. Let's take an example of some independent variable and dependent variable that show a cause and effect relationship. Social class has a significant effect on IQ scores. Time of day has a significant effect on alertness. Independent variable is the minimum wage Dependent variable is the employment rate, so whether a higher minimum wage impacts employment rate. The medication or pill affects to a person's health, thus person's body response to medication is the dependent variables. Like for example, in terms of blood pressure, their health, their weight, consciousness, skin color, and etc. Role of exercise like aerobics as new program to lose weight. Exercise is the independent variable while the weight is the dependent variable. Incorporating mediators and moderators into study helps researchers to see beyond a simple relationship between two variables and obtain a more comprehensive picture of the actual world. These aspects must be considered when evaluating complicated correlational or causal relationship between 
variables. Let us describe the role of mediating variables or the mediator. It explains the relation between the independent as predictor and dependent as criterion variable. It explains how or why there is a relation between two variables. Moderator variables. It acts upon the relationship between two variables and changes its direction or strength. It affects the strength and the direction of that relationship between the independent variable to dependent variable. So take a look at this diagram. You can think of a mediator as in between for two variables. In mediation relationship, you can draw an arrow from an independent variable to a mediator. And then from the mediator to dependent variable. In contrast, a moderator is affect the strength and the direction of that relationship. In a moderation relationship, you can draw an arrow from the moderator to the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable. For instance, determination as mediating variable because it explains how exercise program related to weight loss. While categories under age, gender, prior weight as moderator variable may affect the influence of the exercise program to weight. Like, uh, do people with younger age may lose weight easily than old ones? Another Let's say the independent variable is sleep quality. Sleep quality can influence quiz scores as our dependent variable via the alertness as our mediator. So alertness explain how sleep quality related to squeeze score. The link between sleep quality and academic success may be moderated by mental health status. So, the relationship may be greater for those who do not have diagnosed mental health issues than for those who do. So I hope you learned something new from this video. If you have any questions regarding the rules of different variables, you may contact me via email and messenger. Have a nice day. Annyeong!